Good afternoon. Today I am here with We Move Denison and we are going to learn all about how we can move better and what We Move Denison has to offer. Good morning. I'm here with Claudette Thomas and we are at We Move Denison, which is a Pilates studio and it's amazing in here. Mm. Um, Claudette, I, I want you to tell everybody about how long you've been at this location and how you came to get this particular studio and how you made it so amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> in a nutshell. Right? Okay. Um, well, the, the business has been open, and I want to say we, it's, it's just me here at the moment. I would like to have some more teachers, and it just hopefully keep coming uh, very soon. Okay. But um, February of 22, and that day there was a hailstorm. So at 8 a.m., I'm like, I'm going to be here no matter what, and uh, I sat down. 8 a.m. hell is in the window. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so it's just under two years now. Not so very new. And um, I think this is the first time that Jaro, uh, definitely the first time Jaro Tani, but also apparatus, well, these apparatus have been in Venice, and there is another studio in German ability of Pilates. They've been there for quite a while. I'm not sure how long. <laughs> But it is kind of a new, a new uh, business for the Henderson. And uh, I got stuck here in, at the end of 2019. I came to help my mom move okay. here. And I said, when you're ready, I'll drive the truck. Okay. And uh, we all know what happened at yeah. the end of 2019. Right. It's 2020 and I couldn't move. I had been living outside the country for 20 years. Um, doing workshops in the trees uh -huh. and working at a residential healing center in Costa Rica. Wow. Yeah. And uh, so it was hard for me to be back in the States. Uh, I had come back quite a bit on and off, but not for that long time. And I couldn't leave. And I was at my mom's house. So... <laughs> oh, a lot of things. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, I, you know, I have been trying to figure out where I was going to live. And I wasn't quite sure. I've been traveling around my suitcase for four years, continuing to do workshops and retreats in different places around the world. And um, I just kept saying a prayer of intention of it, where I'm to be, and mm -hmm. let it be easy. Yeah. And you know, let it be known to me, and let it be fully understand. And if not, shoot me up and spit me out. And everywhere I went, it would increase me. And at a certain point, I'd get shoot up and I spit out. Like, okay, I guess I'm going to move on. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I never get shit up and spit out. But I was like, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'll see you. But it was like lying off bar tape and right? before I knew it. And, okay. I saw what came to open the studio. Yeah. It was very exciting to me. Yeah, I yeah, doing that. It's the first time I got really super excited about something in a long time. Mm -hmm. So I just followed that and yeah, here we are. Wow, um, that's awesome. Well, Denison, as you know, and I've been involved in, has a lot of changes, and I'm excited. I'm excited to know that your studio is here. Yeah, thank you. You too. It is exciting, and I want to do, I have been practicing this, doing this work for a very long time, since the 90s, and uh, yoga for, uh, since the 90s, early 90s, and, um, I am going to be offering a teacher training program, so for individuals who want to learn how to teach the mat work, mm -hmm. and I'm bringing in some amazing teachers, the world-renowned teachers, and who are at the top of the field, which is very exciting. In class. Uh, in movement, in the, yeah. So I, I, you know, I, I don't just teach Pilates. Yeah, I have a whole repertoire of things that I incorporate, and, and I also. So they would be doing all this. Yeah, so functional movement, helping people with kind of pain, really just move better, feel freer, lighter. Um, you opened the doors here in February, is that what you said? Of 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you offer group classes and then you offer private. Yes. 
when you call them? Lessons or training, what do you call it? Um, we'll just say private sessions. Um, sessions. Well, yeah, so there's uh, yoga, there's different forms of yoga, uh, yin yoga, restorative yoga, vinyasa yoga, and hatha yoga, and Pilates. I also teach other things too, but um, because I'm just one person, uh, once I get more teachers, I can bring in more classes. Yeah. And then I work with a lot of people who have kind of pain or injury or who um, just don't move as well as they used to or who really want to get into the shape. So the whole, whole spectrum. Right. Yeah, and, and with them, um, so if you came in and had some crunch pain, we would do myofascial release work, soft tissue release work, and cranial of sacral, and then get you moving, teaching properly, bearing on the apparatus. Awesome. And that's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs to learn that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Well, um, if I were to sign up for, if I wanted to take a class or if I wanted a session, how would I sign up for that? You can sign up online at the website, www.wimmyjensen.com under uh, scheduling and pricing. Okay. There's different pricing options. So okay. Options for just group class passes are good for a year. And for people who are just kind of popping in every once in a while, and then we have unlimited options. So one week, two weeks, one month, and then there's an unlimited year option. Okay. So pricing that for everybody. Right. And is that for everything, like sessions and classes? That's for the group classes, the apparatus. There's one-on-one work, and there's duets, and triplets, and we can do uh, quads. So, if so, you four people. Right? Yes. So, if I was going to do a quad, I don't need to find any other people. You don't, um, but I would put you on a list, and I would make sure that you were someone who's yeah. Someone. So, if you're if you're having pain or you have um, some kind of movement impediment, you want to be with someone of equal. And right. So that's right. kind of important. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're someone who's needing, who's in chronic pain or anything, you need special one-on-ones, probably I would say for at least like, four to six weeks, and we reassess, and then I can pair you up with someone else. Okay. Is there like an evaluation when you start doing the sessions? Um, How does that work? <laughs> well, you come in and, you know, we all ask you your goals. Okay. What are you here for? Okay. What, what we're looking for to you. Okay. And then we go from there, and you know, we know, we'll know how things progress, right? And we'll know exactly. It'll be very clear after four to six weeks, like where what needs to happen. And oftentimes, you can go into a group class. You know, it depends. Everybody's different. I mean. So, I, my goal is to have. I, there's so much more I want to do. Right. This is only the foundation. Right. Like, there's so much more. But uh, again, I, I need more teachers. Um, so I'm hoping to get uh, some towers in the, that room, so we can do a tower class, which is basically this half of a pedal. So we have the springs that are on that end on it, the push-through bar, the roll-down bar, and okay. the leg springs on springs. Okay. So that would be a class that would be offered as well, and as well as the reformer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you book, uh, you, you uh, purchase a package or whatever you do. And I'm, I'm working on making some better packages um, for people to choose from. But once you do that, you, you're prompted to in my schedule where you can choose your time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. And do you have classes? different times in the day or so there's classes um monday and wednesday morning 8 a.m is pilates mat which anybody can drop into and followed by yoga at 9 a.m tuesday thursday is 6 p.m pilates mat followed by restorative on tuesday and vinyasa on thursday wednesday night we have yin yoga and saturday morning 9 a.m. Pilates and 10 a.m. yoga. So uh, there's one every day except for Friday and Sunday. I've not heard of yoga. 
Yeah, so Yin is a lot like restorative. That. So restorative yoga, for those who don't know, um, anybody and everybody can do it. And it's, it is, we're restoring our nervous system. We're moving ourselves into rest and digest the parasympathetic nervous system and out of the fight, flight, freeze, fall response. Okay. Which we can be in and not even know it. Right. right? Um, and everything is done on your back, your side, your belly, and we use a lot of props. All those props you see in there, pretty much they're all out on the floor. And the props are doing the work for us. So it's like a little, each pose is like a little mini Shavasana. Shavasana is the last pose of a yoga practice, corpse pose, where you just, it's often everybody's favorite pose. Um, a lot of people do yoga just to have Shavasana. <laughs> Um, I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> and you never taste as sweet without your practice. Yeah. You have to have your practice yeah. in order to have a good shavasana. You know. um, it's really lovely that way. But, um, but we put ourselves in these different positions with full support of the props and then we're just relaxing and breathing and I talk to you to go inside and uh, listen and feel and relax and uh -huh. there's nice music playing. Uh -huh. And it's very historic. Yeah. And Yin is very similar, except that it's a little bit more active. Okay. Uh, maybe more than a little bit more. You're, you're, you're not um, weight bearing as much as you would be in a Hatha or a, um, a Vinyasa class where you're moving up and down. You're on your back and you're actively stretching, putting your, um, your body into an active stretch and holding it for a longer period of time until you get a release. Okay. It's a bit more engaged. Okay. Um, they're both beautiful. They're both uh, beneficial. We have to move out of this idea that if there's no pain, there's no gain. And I, I, that is absolutely not true. And that we have to stretch something to open it. And that's also not true. Okay. We know this now. The new science around fascia and soft tissue does not look that way. What, for people that don't know, what is the difference between yoga and pilates? Hmm, that's a good question. So, <laughs> yoga, I mean, Joseph Pilates did study yoga <laughs> and boxing and gymnastics. He's very active, uh, very physically active. Um, yoga comes from a really ancient tradition yeah. in Eastern India and, and China, Asia. And it's, you know, a way of keeping the body in shape, calming the organs, working the whole system. Yoga means to yoke, so to join. And what we're joining is all heart and harmonizing all aspects of ourselves, our mind, our body, our spirit, yeah. on all levels. And um, Pilates uh, is different in that it originally was created as a form of physical rehab. So the Pilates worked in heat. Well, his mother walked with the king, so he was really into helping her um, walk better. And also, he was sickly as a child and with really physical fitness. During World War One, he was in the prosthetic ward and saw that people were getting weaker and not stronger. And said, oh, that's not right. And so he was he sort of had a lot of people sitting on the king's come. Because he would uh, hook up, he hook up uh, springs, uh -huh. which I've heard different stories. Some say down from the mattresses, some say he didn't. I don't know who right. knows. Um, and and then he would do his exercises, and that eventually evolved into to the paddle the and um, and then the reformers and other piece of the apparatus with chairs, a lot of and the art barrels, and. He, what he saw is that people were not moving correctly. He, he would be able to see their imbalances mm -hmm. and also saw that they were overusing large muscles, the posterior muscles. We have 13 posterior muscle groups that are firing just to hold us upright on the sand and sit. Mm -hmm. And that's what all the Nautilus equipment does. All those, you know, you have a gym, and you have it, and you get big muscles that are the most superficial. You get beefed up really fast, big results, but the little muscles are just kind of hanging out. And you create an imbalance, which is why a lot of individuals who do a lot of weight lifting have bad necks, bad backs, bad knees, because they're creating so much imbalance. Mm -hmm. And what Joseph Plotty saw is we need to create balance. We need to get the smaller muscles firing first, 
to stabilize and help support the larger muscles. So we would say that we're like, we're building muscles for our muscles. Yeah. And it's first and primarily retraining how the body fires and weight bears. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And very powerful yeah. for, for um, recovery from anything or uh, to avoid having to come under the knife. Yes. It's brilliant for that. I've helped hundreds of people avoid surgery uh, due to his work. And I didn't invent it. Yes. <laughs> but, um, but it's brilliant. I mean, I know I always thought of Pilates as, okay, it's going to start at my core. Mm -hmm. And yoga was more about stretching and releasing. And that's just the way in my mm -hmm. head that I thought of it. Mm -hmm. to kind of, but when I take it, when I'm in the past, if I take a Pilates class, sometimes I'm like, I don't see a whole lot of difference. Yeah. But that's just me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or maybe the class I was yeah. taking. Yeah, and um, you know, we, the body don't do so much. Like it's always moving. Uh, and it's always like, in, whether it's dance or whatever, uh -huh. you, know, you know, you can go to some track and field and you can see some movement <laughs> stretches. Yes. Um, I think a lot of it too depends on the teacher and their, what they're bringing to it and like what they're offering as an awareness within that work. Because I've been to some yoga classes where I might as well have been at the gym, right? Exactly. Like, okay. And then I've been to some really deeply centered and grounding spiritual ones that are amazing workout. Yes. But yet yeah, you're really coming into a uh, harmony and flow within yourself. Yeah. So uh, the teacher is really important. I always, always tell people if you don't like yoga, try a different teacher. That's right. right? Or a different style. style. There are so many different forms of yoga out there. Okay. I took a hot yoga class with some friends one time. And I, I was, it was like being in a gym. Mm -hmm. You know, we did all kinds of things with the bar and the bar and the bar. Yeah. Like it was very active and yeah. very hard there. And I thought like, oh, I might just got to work out. You do yeah. not feel like yoga to me. Yeah. But that's just, you know, maybe just a class like that and stuff. Like that. Yeah, and that's fine, you know. I mean, it's, a lot of people say, oh, I do Pilates online on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, who do you, you know, I'm always curious. Right. Like, who are you looking at me? They tell me, and then I go and look at it, and I'm like, this is not Pilates at all. <laughs> and then, you know, it's an hour class, and then like 40 minutes into it, oh, we're doing our first Pilates exercise. It's a fabulous workout. There's nothing wrong with the workout, but it's not Pilates. Right. So there's a lot of crossover and stuff. And that's so, what I've experienced. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on, you know, what their training is, and not just the Pilates died in 1968. So... That's a while now. Yeah. And so the first generation teachers who work with them directly, a lot of them aren't around anymore. And, and then the first generation teachers. And, now, and I, you know, if anybody can go online and get certified for, you know, I tell one for $199 Pilates certification. Wow. Online. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to be a good Right. No, that not an entrance. It's not that they're not going to be a good teacher. They're going to be a fabulous teacher, but they're not going to have the comprehensive knowledge and understanding yes. of what is really the essence of what Pilates truly is. Yes. Because I can guarantee you cannot get that for one hundred ninety nine dollars <laughs> online. <laughs> I had to interview for my training. Um, I had to perform all the exercises on the apparatus and in the mat series through to the advanced level uh -huh. and I had to perform an interview and my training was a clear training. Yeah. And I you know, wouldn't have thought of any other way. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but not strong back then. Yeah. Like all the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah. And I've been blessed to work with several of the first generation teachers. Wow. That's yeah. really nice. Yes. And they all have something brilliant and you need to bring it. Yeah. And you know, I should probably say also there is there has been this little warring within the Pilates world between who teaches the real Pilates, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, because there was uh, some situations with some of the elders, well one of them in particular, but um, who claimed to be the only one, which simply is not true. We all of the elders 
a brilliant way uh, bring something different. And all of them represent different aspects of the whole of what Claudius is. And he was always evolving. He was always creating new um, pieces of equipment for people to take home and work on something. He was always innovating and changing things. So, you know, it's beautiful that they're, they're all doing that too. They all bring something a little different, but it's still the essence is the same. And, and that hasn't been lost. And that's really nice. And I don't think that could, it's just a testament to how pure and true and brilliant his work is and his vision. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so. I want to get started, so what do I do? I go online, mm-hmm. and would you recommend someone um, do a group class first, or what would you recommend? Oh, well, again, it depends on your goals, and everybody's always welcome just to drop in for a group map class. You don't have to register. Oh, okay. You know, but um, you can always drop in. Okay. You know, sometimes registration gets a little, you know, right. just, just come in. Yes. Um, and you just come in and say, keep your head in and say, yeah, going on yeah. Um, yeah, it depends on your goals. Like someone who has, um, who's just to sing an injury, or has herniations, or fusions, or stenosis, mm-hmm. or neck issues, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily recommend coming, maybe, it depends, right? Yeah. Yeah. right. To come to a group class, you're going to need special attention. Right. And, and, because it's, I can't always give that in a class. Yeah. Eventually, I want, again, once I have uh, more teachers and, and can create up some of my time and have other people teaching, I do want to do a math class for, uh, you know, for special, uh-huh. special cases. Yeah. Right? So those of us who have bad necks, shoulders, back, yeah. can come and have a special class designed for that. Um, so yeah, if you're healthy and strong, and or even if you have something, and it's fine. If you have some back pain, definitely come. Yeah. It's when you get into like the severe situation, you yeah. have to be and you're not um, too bad. Restorative, pretty much everybody can come to, and you can fit everybody, and as well as you know, they have to be pretty safe with those. Um, otherwise, you know, I think it's good to just try it out. You can get a week unlimited and come to every class and see what and works. see what like, what you like and uh-huh. what you don't like. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I have learned so much today. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. I think it's just amazing. Yeah. I feel good after doing those works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. You can feel how it decompresses the joint. Mm-hmm. So we're weight bearing in a very different way. And so you're able to open up the joints and create space and some stability mm-hmm. and mobility. So I recommend if you've ever wondered if you would like yoga or lattes or um, if you have issues that you can see on it mm-hmm. and um, find out how it can help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially if you're in chronic pain, um, smile over soft tissue release work is amazing. It's really good. Yeah. And quick. <laughs> we all want a quick fix in right. things, right? And you know, I would say I couldn't do that 15 years ago, but now at this stage I can I can offer a quick fix, which is nice. Yeah. I've had a lot of fascial release work then. Yeah. And um, it does, it's very effective. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. yeah. It's nice to know that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for having me. You will. Okay. Showing me everything. I can't wait to share it. Yeah, well, thank you for, for contacting me and allowing me to uh, be part of what you're doing. It's wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. to help bring the community yeah. of uh, my sovereign and Yeah, it's fabulous. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>